Hi, I'm Judith Bansby from DOHA and I'm here with my colleague Clara over there. Um, so I'm hoping that everyone by now knows what DOHA is. We've been around for 15 years and uh, we, um, we index only gold open access journals, but not just in science, everywhere. Um, and we try and have a global coverage, um, which is a bit of, this gives you a bit of an idea of uh, where our uses, our usage is around the world. A lot in the US, but um, in countries like Indonesia and Brazil that have really um, government mandated open access programs and pretty much um, everywhere around the world. So we fit in by trying to help readers and authors, libraries, funders and publishers. Um, so we have kind of multi-stranded um, aims, but I'll cut to the chase. Um, we've got about 12,000 journal records and 3.3 million links to article metadata. Um, that metadata is available openly to anybody um, in a number of ways um, and is integrated in uh, lots of search services and library catalogues. Um, and we realise that lots of people want to use the data and unfortunate timing wise for, for the hack day is we will have a full data export for our entire database but it's not available on Wednesday which is a bit of a shame. Um, but it will be available in the future so if anyone wants to work with that data that they can. So in the interest of transparency I thought I'd just highlight what we don't include um, because we don't cover the entire open um, access um, you know how much all, all the articles that are published we don't have hybrid journals and we don't have ones that are so-called bronze i.e free journals that are, are not fitting um, our idea of what open access is we don't have stuff that's not peer-reviewed we don't have stuff that hasn't that stopped publishing and there are some journals that have simply never applied but i think something that i'd like to collaborate with on people is that we have 25% of our journals that are in the system, we don't have any article metadata. I know coming from a metadata background that our format is not easy to work with. I would like to investigate some collaborations to see how we can improve that. Um, and this is just a, a little guide of you know, other reasons why we don't have everything. We have many, many, many more applications than we accept. And lots of these are either because they're very poor quality journals, or in some cases, looking at the India one, that's where a lot of the so-called predatory um, journals come from. So there's lots of stuff we don't have. Our roadmap is that we want to include more good quality journals. So we are actively um, soliciting applications from journals that people in the subject areas know that are good. We're looking to update and clean up our old data. We want to increase the metadata ingest from those publishers who are not currently able to supply us with data. Um, we've got some system work to do and we want to collaborate. We have several services that we are already looking at working with, but hopefully this will lead to some more. Thank you. <laughs>